we're back. Did you miss us? Probably did. Probably. Probably. Okay, so the next game is Overgrowth. What do you think about this map? Did you just ask the stream what they think about this no, map? No, I asked you. Oh, okay. I thought <laughs> you, you were like, what do you <laughs> think about this map? Sure. Oh. They can tell us, but we're not going to listen. Yeah. Oh, well, we can. Well, we'll listen, listen to yeah, well, Twitter. I, yeah, on tw yeah, you Twitter? can tweet at us. Yeah. What's your Twitter? Fnatic Mean Eraser. Uh, all 70 of you should go tweet at him. All of you. All 70 of you. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic. Um, in the bottom left-hand position of um, Overgrowth, we have Targa. From Team Imaginary Gaming. French yep. team. French team. Yeah. It's a real team. It's not imaginary. It's not imaginary. Even though the name is it. Yep. Top right. So Targa recently getting kicked from Dignitas, yeah? Getting kicked? Or left Dignitas? I don't know. I don't think he got kicked. Okay. I think he left. Why would he leave? Maybe he was tired of living in the shadow of Tefal. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in a team with Tefal. I would always be the second Zerg player, you know? Yeah, that's true. That wouldn't be a fun experience. Yeah, I mean, he l he is the second Norwegian, though, to Snoot. So. That, that's true. He will always live in the shadow of Snoot. You sure? You don't think so? What if he improves a lot? What if Snoot, Snoot is like? the best? Snoot is the best right now, yeah. But you said forever. I think Targa can. You think Targa Maybe. can? I mean, he was talking about retirement not long ago. Targa yeah, was. so was Snoot. Though. Was he? Yeah, during like quite some time ago, like a few months, three or four months, he was talking about retirement. Really? Yeah. Well, that's surprising to me. But then he changed his mind because he started doing well again. Oh, okay. I think he was going through some stuff maybe, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps. Alright, Targa going for the early pool, but this time it wasn't really by choice. This time he was kind of forced by Harpner. Because if you try to go for a fifth match when there's a probe, mm -mm. I do it anyway. No, you don't, because he puts a pylon. Well, I, I, I take two drones out. One yeah. goes to my third, one goes to my natural. Okay, so let's say, then you have to take hatch first here. Yep. No problem. Sure. Uh, usually when there's a probe scout this early on, it's 99% yeah. of the time. Forge. N yeah, Nexus yeah. first or Forge fast. Expense. But if someone blind counters you though, and forgets, they bait you with this and then they forget you. Yeah, that would be... That's why you should play the barcode. Something. No, because I scout at 13 as well, so Ooh, I would see it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Same build from Harpner, safe and solid. This time Targa's gas is really late though. You Indeed. think it's going to take a gas? Uh, no. You could play the Mean Racer opener as well. What's the Mini Razor opener? There you go, gas this until 36 to fly with 4 queens, yeah. double evil, and then you get ling upgrades. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah it's quite good. Into uh, ultras? Yeah, with vipers and investors. Sounds good. Very strong. Very strong indeed. You need and, the micro uh, though. That's, target has I feel like that's better against like one gas openers, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I would feel pretty comfortable because you can drone a lot. Uh huh. And Harpner can't really do any pressure because his cyber core will be so late. Oh, fair enough. Do you Targa's take a third with it? Eventually. Just a, l a much later third? Yeah, Targa doesn't do that. He gets the really fast. <coughs> this is the kind of stuff we've been seeing from the best Polish Zerg, actually. Who Tevil is living in the shadow of. Uh, who does Tevil live in the shadow of? Oh, Nurtio, sure. of course. Come on. Yeah. Arthur Block. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, yeah. Yeah, he, he's been playing this. He died against MC's plus one forget, though, in WCS, but... Uh -huh. Harpner can't do that, so you can see he went Nexus first, and he's going double gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't like doing that against uh, one gas, one gas expands, because yeah, Forgate's too, too powerful. Yeah, it's, even if you survive, you're most of the time not going to be in the best situation. It's really yeah. awkward to defend it. Yeah, it really is. Especially when they have the slowing field and the mothership core. Yeah, because you either need to mine gas and, and get a roach worm and yeah. invest a bunch of roaches, yeah, or you, you need to, them. like, a million links. So. Yeah, and the spine. And, uh, it's just an awful situation but that's not gonna happen oh, here is he gonna pick off another probe yeah wow Maybe. wow two, two workers killed impress yeah the impress impress did that impress you no yeah, that's not how i say shit oops what are you doing uh, this thing doesn't work no Wait, why can't i see wrong okay. i don't know i don't know something wrong let's watch it like this then how, do, how are you watching it oh targa oh. yeah so we see here right now, Targa is making drones, scouting around. Harpner is going for the same, looks like the same thing again. Yep. But this time Targa isn't overlord scouting, which is a bit 
scary for him, I guess. Yeah. Targus playing this like he was playing against a forge expand with the double gas at six minutes. I th I'm not sure if this is a bit risky or not. Yeah, this is pretty nice by Harpner. It's a, a really smart move to send out the two salads. It's there. very annoying for Target to deal with. Yeah, they're they're pretty annoying already. Uh, yeah. If it picks up a drone, I would say they don't even have it. to kill stuff. They just have to be annoying. Yeah, and they but have definitely. been. Uh, they force. He might get a drone. Oh. They force six links. That's like three drones, you could say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that drone would have died if the cell got his second swipe off. Yeah. You know how he has like double attacks every time he attacks. Yeah. I don't like the Roach Warren position. It's a easy place to get sniped, I think. I wouldn't put my Roach Warren here. Yeah, I think that was a uh, panic Roach Warren of sorts. Kind of like, ah, oh, I need to make a Roach Warren. Still no scout Here's though. This is a bit late. <coughs> yeah, indeed. You can't really expect to be allowed to scout. Like, there should be enough things to stop you now. Yeah. There could uh, be DTs coming in right now. Yeah, he might feel a little bit comfortable just seeing the extra gas. Yeah, but then you should be scared of DTs and stuff like that. Oracles would also be very annoying. And Oracle... Ah, okay, so yes. Yeah, an yeah, Oracle the, in the uh, main. Yeah, I don't feel Targa's prepared for very much. No. He has four queens, doesn't account for his target. Now that he doesn't see anything and he's on Stalker, he should put down safety spores, I think. Yeah, this is really nice by Harpner, though. Because um, generally when you see a Stalker, you think they have something to hide. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it, it also it also you know like stalker instead of having a, an extra sentry or something like that, it it usually indicates that they are trying to save up the gas for something else. Yeah. Especially when there aren't that many gases. True. True. So this is really nice mind games by Harpner, if we can call it that. Yeah. Because uh, Targa's in the in the Targa's blind about this right now. And, Targa's and starting to make oh he drone very heavily quite yeah. fast though so. This is probably going to be pretty good for Harpner. Yeah, I think Harpner should win this game. Uh, or not should win, but I think he's put himself in a really advantageous position. You think? I think Targa has. Look how fast he drawn up to 60. And now he's just going to make units. Yeah, but he's going to make links and uh, roaches. It's, it true. is a pretty choky map, and this is a big all in. And I don't think Targa saw it until the now. The position at Targa's third is very wide. <coughs> not very wide open, but it's very easy to force field if you yeah. have enough sentries. Yeah, exactly. And then it doesn't really matter how many roaches you have, because you won't have any of the fun stuff, like burrow or burrow movement. Yeah, exactly. I, I think this is a great position for Harpner, as long as yeah. his force are good. Yeah, and even the... The Hasu. Yeah, the, he can do the Hasu if he wants. Yeah. And even Targ doesn't he doesn't have any upgrades. Want to explain what the like, Hasu is? <laughs> no, <laughs> not for... no. Well, uh, you, have to, you have to explain to the viewers. Well, then people might start doing it a bit more. Oh, okay. I don't want to lose. All right. So uh, we'll see if Harpner does the hassle, we'll let you know. Yeah. Um, or well, not. Maybe we're tricking you. Maybe we're tricking you into thinking into you thinking that there is such thing as the hassle. Yeah. Seven pylons at the same time. <laughs> Generally. Oh no, what's going on? It's a counter attack by Targa by four links. This is quite bad. Quite for a counter attack and yeah, he, since he was Sitting a fly block he couldn't really warp in. Oh, is he not warping in back home at all? One stalker at least? Oh there it is. Okay. Two centuries. I would have preferred <coughs> two stalkers at home. And Again, he's fight. being a little bit uh, slow here. Very slow. Oh, and what a surround by Targos. What a surround by Targos. Targos. Yeah. Such impress. Very impressive. What a guy. And he's going to take the game very convincingly. Yeah, don't see that it. was really, really, really nice by him. Yeah, he's pretty good at defending all ends. Yeah, Harbner was pretty slow and yeah. uh, gave a lot of time to Targa to get the position. I think the four links did quite a bit. The four links that count. They yep. took attention from Harbner and then he got a bit scared. That as well. Now, and even uh, if he has the. Force fields, he has no oomph in his army, like the immortals are gone. <laughs> the, they kind of tickle the roaches, you know, and GG. Yeah. Harpner so realizes the oomph is gone, and so is his chances of winning this game. Indeed. I think that Harpner, once again, with a good idea, a good build. Yeah. Just uh, target. Poor execution. Poor execution, target with a very good execution. And this time around, a, a really, really nice round. That was very really nice. nice. Very, very, nice. very well done. So, um,. Yeah. We're going to go into a three-minute break while we set up the next round of matches. All right. Stick around. Yes. <laughs> 